And now it is our star special item. We've got a special deal for you. There's only one available, and it is a brand new Miller Corner video. It's fully featured, all the usual things you can expect from one of these videos, and the best part is, it's coming up right now. <laughs> Hello YouTube, Miller Corner here, welcome back once again and today we're going back, way back, because you see the other day I was watching a TV program about bloopers and kind of mistakes and things on live TV programs, everything that goes wrong on news programs and on documentaries and interviews and things like that that just go wrong because things can go wrong on live TV and there was a whole section of the program dedicated to a very specific genre of TV programs, something that we don't see that much these days for various reasons. And this specific segment of the program was dedicated to shopping channels. Yes, that's right, a TV channel where all they do all day is sell you stuff. And they were very kind of 90s in the way they were. They were a little bit cheesy, quite over the top, and looking back now, they were really quite funny to watch. I wanted to look back on this unique, quirky, funny, but really rather nice thing from 10, 15, 20 years ago that for a lot of us brings back some memories. For a start, all shopping channels are trying to sell you things, that's the whole point of them, and they were trying to sell usually assorted catalogue items, like if you live in the UK, the sort of things that you'd find in the Argos catalogue, and that's anything, toys, jewellery, homeware, stuff, furniture, literally anything they would try and sell you. And it seemed to be that the host who was talking about it would have a small list of features that would be appearing usually on the left or right of the screen in a little coloured box, and they just kept listing them off to you, and kept repeating them and saying them in a different tone of voice to actually seem like they were a new thing and a lot of these catalogue items they were selling were either absolute rubbish that you wouldn't actually want, don't serve any purpose or they're hideously outdated or it would be overpriced as hell. Whatever the product was though they had their list of features, they were going to stick to it and they were going to tell you every single thing they possibly could about the item they were trying to sell and they'd even gloss over something that didn't look very good for the product. For example I remember watching a few years ago they were trying to sell like a little netbook laptop type thing and while they were trying to open the internet to show you how it could browse the internet it froze the computer just totally froze so the host sort of pressed a button for a few seconds and then just grabbed another one and just sort of showed you what it looked like while waiting for the other one to load again it's a thing with live tv these things happen but who's gonna want to spend two three hundred pounds however much it cost on this laptop when it's just frozen they would sell every product as if it was the best thing that had ever happened they would stress that feature. They would make sure you knew that that camera had four megapixels, that that gold ring really was 24 karat. But again, it was quite good fun to watch because they put all their effort into making sure that product looked as good as it possibly could. These presenters were what made these programs because they were so enthusiastic. It was like pantomime. You recognize the voices because obviously they keep showing the product, but you'd have that voice going on the whole time trying to sell the product to you. So you get familiar with the voices of a shopping channel presenter, like you do a radio presenter, like you're kind of connecting with these presenters and they try and relate the product back to their everyday lives. Like if they were selling a tidy for the back of a car seat, they'd say, oh, well my daughter always gets loads of mess all over the back seat of my car. If only I had one of these, it would be so much better. And oh, my husband doesn't smell very good after a day at work. If only he used this aftershave, he'd smell so much better. And you know full well that some of the things they said about their significant other or their children or whatever might well have caused a few arguments when they got home that night. The next piece of the puzzle, once you've got your product and you've got your presenter to sell it, you need to pump up the atmosphere as if the intense over-the-top presenting isn't already there and the idea was with this music it was so kind of jazzy and funky and dancey that even if you weren't actually interested in the product the music would pump up the atmosphere a bit like oh I don't really need an mp3 player but oh this music just makes me want to dance I'm more interested with it now I looked on YouTube and I found a compilation it was about an hour long of all the music they used in the shopping programs and all the music sounds basically the same you get a generic drum beat three or four notes played over and over again and occasionally a twin or a sparkle or a psh or something like that just to make it kind of more oh it was wonderful and the music in a wee way is sort of catchy you certainly wouldn't listen to it voluntarily and it doesn't fit in any other sort of TV program any other sort of movie or anything in fact but it was kind of funky and kind of cool and it gave a nice atmosphere a unique kind of feel to it now what do you need 
you need a price. And all these channels, Bid Up TV, Price Drop TV, Gems TV was like a jewellery one, I believe. They'd have the price in the corner of the screen while the presenter was talking about it. And as they got further and further on talking about the products and they said, yes, now we're going to sell it to you, gradually that price would trickle lower a few pence every few seconds. And the presenter would keep saying, I can't believe we're doing it this low and this is an amazing price. And you know full well that A, they know what that price is and B, they've got someone in a headset whispering to them saying, oh, the price is now this and now it's this and now it's this. And they're just making the price seem good by starting it ludicrously high and lowering it to give the illusion that you've actually saved money on it. And it worked. People actually bought things. They'd have hundreds of stock of an item in and the counter would roll down as the program was going on and they were talking about the item and people were actually paying these prices for it. At least we assume. It might well have been the case that they just made the counter go down and they never actually had 500 necklaces to sell. They only had five, but they were just making the counter go down to give the illusion of sales. But if you liked the price, you'd call that premium rate phone number and you'd immediately be put on hold. Weirdly for a place trying to sell hundreds or even thousands of units of an item, they'd only have like three phone lines. I actually discovered a little while back that for some of these TV shopping channels, you couldn't just do that. You had to set up an account on the phone. You had to give them your email address and your postcode and your mother's maiden name before you could even buy the one item. Who designed this? And if you did eventually get through, usually it was out of stock by the time you actually got there and the presenter would be on screen saying, oh, sorry folks, we've all run out now. We'll move on to this next item that you also don't want and you're gonna probably pay too much for. And that's how things would go. You'd have a series of emotions watching this and you kind of start off, oh, not really bothered, then quite interested, then interested, then wanting the product, then disappointment as you couldn't actually get it from the premium rate phone line. And they would keep this going for hours and hours and hours. The programs would start at like seven in the morning and they wouldn't finish till like 10 at night. And since I've kind of listed all these factors about a TV shopping channel to you, the naff items, the over the top presenters with the kind of pantomime scripting and no real knowledge of the product, the jazzy funky music and the illusion of a lowered price with the scrolling number at the side of the screen, I think it would be only right to put all these factors together to give you a demonstration of what a typical shopping channel program actually looked like. Our next item today is one that we talked about earlier in the show, it's our star item of the day and it is the Nikon compact camera. You might have an old one, your camera might be getting on a bit, it might not take as good a photos as it used to, you might be disappointed, you're not capturing those memories, not anymore, not with the Nikon compact camera. We've got easy auto mode setting on this. So this is a really simple feature. You press the one button there and it just does everything for you. Works out all the settings. No worries here with that easy auto mode setting. You can just press one button and fire away and take your photos. And they're gonna be good photos as well because we've got 10.1 megapixels on this camera. 10.1, that's amazing. That's gonna be better than your phone. That's gonna be better than your old camera. That might brilliant photos you need this camera I need this camera in my life I tell you I can't take photos with my old camera with my phone because I just end up with it all blurry or it's upside down or there's the flash in it and it just looks horrible you just see reflections in people's eyes you know or you take a photo of yourself by accident it's terrible I can't do photography but I don't need to we're going to do an amazing price because we're starting at £28. That's an amazing price for this camera to start with, but it's not staying there. It's already counting down. As you can see, it's going £27.50. It's going £27. I've got £26.50, £26, £25.50, £25. That price is... Our star price is just... 22 pounds, how can we do it that cheap? That's absolutely unbelievable. 22 pounds for a 10.1 megapixel camera using an easy auto mode setting to make it as good as possible. And the phone lines are now open. I've only got 15 available. This is my star buy today. I've only got a few for you. Already I've got a sale. I've got 14, I've got 13. I've only got 12 left. 10.1 megapixel photos and all with the easy auto mode setting. It's an amazing camera. I cannot believe we can do it for just 22 quid. I've got three left. I've got two left. 22 quid for this camera is a steal. You need one of these. And we've got one on the phone lines and we are done. That's it. They are all sold. Phone lines are now closed. Congratulations to everyone who got the Nikon camera because you got a camera with 10.1 megapixel sensor controlled by easy auto mode to make the best photos possible and with just two AA batteries powering it 
to make it as easy as possible to use. Well done to all of you. You got an amazing deal once in a lifetime, I tell you. And I cannot tell you how excited I am for all of you that got this amazing deal. But what I can tell you is we're probably going to be selling a very, very similar camera this time tomorrow for even less. That was one of my favourite cutaways to film, I'm not going to lie, that was so much fun. So that was my little recap on TV shopping channels. It's been a few years since they've all shuffled off and they don't really exist in the channel listings anymore. They're an outdated medium and they've got no chance of coming back in an age of internet shopping and amazing online deals. But it's nice to look back on them, look back on a simpler time when all you needed were a few little basic ingredients and you can make even the crappiest items seem worthwhile to buy. Thanks so much for watching this video and travelling back in time with me guys, I really really appreciate it. If you liked it don't forget to click that thumbs up button and also leave a comment down below. Do you have any memories of shopping channels? Did you ever buy anything from them? Was it a good deal? Do you remember watching them 10 or 15 years ago? Let me know, I want to know what are your memories living with shopping channels. If you want to see some more of Miller Corner don't forget to click that subscribe button for more videos from me as soon as they're released and I'll be back with you very soon with some brand new videos. For now though thanks once again for watching guys. You have a brilliant rest of your day and I will catch you soon. Have a good one.